Hi right, YouTube, today we're gonna get a crown session in. I'm gonna show y'all how I brush my crown with the swirl. I'm gonna show y'all how to do a regular session and a wash session. So it's basically, I'm gonna put a little product in around my crown because you never wanna brush dry hair. I'm gonna get that little session in on my crown and then we're gonna fast forward and we're gonna get into a wash session. You can see how I hit my crown using the lather of the soap to guide me, all right? So I'm gonna be using Tracy Lorenz Curl Butter. This is what I'm looking like. I'm looking like right now, all right? So, this on, around it, so I'm not brushing the dry hair. Just to get a little bit of moisture in there, a little bit of product, so I don't damage my hair brushing it dry, all right? Now, I got this, and I'm basically tapping my crown in a swirl pattern, all right? Easy. I know a lot of people ask me, how do you close your crown up and how do you brush the swirl? This is how, all right? I just tap it. I drag this side across in a tapping motion and I start going up. Overlap towards the end of that crown angle. All right, I don't got the best crown, but I'm working. You know what I'm saying? As long as you're working, can't nobody tell you nothing. All right, I'm gonna make it real quick though. That's how I do it. Y'all go back and watch this if you want tips on how to brush the swirl. Alright. Alright, now let's get into the wash, man. Every time I wash, I wash twice. Alright? Twice, and on the third time I get crazy lather. Today I'm washing with the My Fluffy Puffs Razul Clay Bar. Alright, I already washed twice. This is gonna be the third lather. You can see how the lather goes crazy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna get into this crown session with this soap so y'all can see how the lather really does help you with your angles, all right? So, this little bit of the soap that I got, but it is the same as this one, all right? So. All right, we got the hard curve brush. Let's get into this session. Now, when you have a lot of lather, you can lose your crown. All right, so I try to keep the lather where my crown is still visible so I don't lose it within all the hair and all the extra lather that I got. Now, all crown work now, right? so y'all can see it, all crown work. This is my right side, I'm coming off the crown on an angle and I'm dropping it down, dropping it down, going diagonal for my right side, all right? This is 540 angles, all right? This is not gonna work with your beehive or other patterns that you're trying to do. Now I'm going from my right side, wrapping it around to my left. In a swooping motion. As I come up, I go straight ahead. I'm going straight ahead because I want my top to be straight. I want 540 with a straight top. Some people call it 540 hybrid pattern, all right? But I want a more of a straight top. So I wrap it around and go up 
My left side goes straight forward. The waves will, will be vertical up and down on my left side. As for the back, my back will be slanted. So I'm coming down on a slant, just like that. But if you see the lather, it shows you the angles you're brushing. This helps you learn your angles by heart, using that lather. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna learn your, your angles overnight, but the soap, the lather I should say, it definitely is a tool to help you. For those that don't know what I'm doing, this is a washing style, washing style method. Young Wavy came up with the washing style method. I don't know if anybody was doing it before him, but he dubbed it, he made it famous. This is a great method to take your waves to the next level. Not only clean your hair, but style your hair the way you want it to save progress. And it's a great tool for breaking forks, I might add. But yeah, this is the washing style though. Every person with dope waves does this, I would say at least, at least once a week, depending on you know your environment. Are you sweating a lot? How how often your hair is getting dirty? How often you need to clean it? But the washing style is dope. Hit your whole pattern and work that crown. See, my crown is still exposed. I don't want to close it. I want to keep it open a little bit. I did scramble wash to begin with, so don't think the inside of my crown is dirty. I did scramble wash the first two washes. This is the third. So my crown is clean, but this is the final wash and I'm styling it how I want to save it before I rag up and rinse it out. All right. The lather don't lie. The lather is gonna tell you what you're doing right and wrong. All right, that's a quick washing style. See my crown. In a swirl pattern, my back is slanted. My left side is going forward. My top is coming off that swoop, going straight ahead. Then I start to slant my top, going towards my right. I start to slant it so that it can connect with my right side which is basically a 360 side. Your right side on 540s is basically the same as 360s, 360 beehive, 360 swirl or what have you. Basically the same. And my back has the slant. This was supposed to be just crown work, but I'm basically running through my whole pattern for you, which is cool for the people who had questions. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up. I'm gonna wrap up the washing style. You see the crazy lather, you know what I'm saying? You don't wanna waste the lather with this soap. Other soaps you may not be able to use, but I can use this soap on my face, all right? This is hair and skin. So I don't wanna waste the lather. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face with it before I rag up, all right? Rinse your face with cold water, especially those who are affected by acne. You want to wash your face with hot water first, open up your pores, clean with soap, and rinse with cool or cold water. All right? While your face is still wet and moist, moist, nasty word, right? I take the My Fluffy Puffs Face Serum, all right? 
and get it open. I take this, I put a couple drops on my face, three or four drops. Rub it in. This has a hormone blocker in it to prevent acne breakouts. So this is a great, this is a great, uh, great product since I've been using it. I haven't had any bumps on my face, pimples, whatever you want to call them. Not as much. I'm not gonna say I haven't had any, but I haven't had as much. You know, some people are a little older; they still get acne due to stress or just dirty skin or whatever. So put that on there, face nice and soft, nice and clear. All right, next, after the wash and style, always make sure you put your hair down. Make sure it's flat, all right? It's a wash and style. So you wanna style it how you want it to be, how you want it to be. So make sure you put your hair down. Use that lather and put it down before you rag up. You don't wanna have it curled up or sticking up in any areas. Smooth it over, make that lather work for you, right? See, it's a big difference. Now, I take my crown patch and I put it where I want it, right over my crown, all right? Put that over my crown. That's gonna prevent my crown from moving or shifting while this rag is on there while it's wet. All right? Then I take my wet do rag. And I throw it on top. Wetting the do rag helps keep it in place. Rinse the soap up, soap out my hair with the do-rag on, okay? That's gonna keep my hair styled just like this. And when I finish rinsing it out, I'm not gonna take my do-rag off until it's completely dry. Completely dry. It will not have the same effect if you take it off when it's still wet, okay? So make sure you're your do-rag is completely dry before you take it off, all right? Now I'm giving myself a little bit extra protection, double compressor, make sure it don't move, cause I'm gonna get in the shower, I got a high pressure uh, shower head, I don't wanna disturb no hairs or nothing. And double compressing, two do-rags, I think is a bit much, but a booboo -boo cap or a stocking cap, on top of that do-rag, I think it's grade A, all right? So, what did we do today? We did crown work with a little product in it. We washed, I showed y'all how I brushed my angles. I showed y'all how to do a proper washing style. And now I'm gonna get in the shower and rinse this soap out. Hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment. Let me know in the comments if you need another video, what you want me to talk about. Follow me on IG. Let me know what y'all need help with. Hit me up in the DM on IG if you need help with your angles. And send me clear, direct pics. And I got you.